Hi everybody, and yes, this is the day. In dream scene, okay? So, never mind that. Let's start Blender. And I just can't do it. If you want to see arrays, just press delete. Yeah, I'm damn good, yeah. Okay, let's, let's get started. Okay, so for your array, you may not want your uh, cube, okay? So let's just forget this. And add the torus, okay? Spacebar add mesh torus. Um, let's go with the low poly, okay? Uh, 16 by 16. That should do it. Yep. So it's like a halo, not the actual halo as in materials, but you know, halo as in the game. Okay, so we are going to do this like in Stargate, where the 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 rings actually, yeah. They're called rings. They teleport everybody in and out. Okay, so uh, go to top view. Okay, press space. No, add an empty. Okay, empty. Make sure the z axis is um, over here. Okay, up. The same with this one. Okay, so uh, that's about it. Let's name the empty x. Okay, press F9 or go into editing. Uh, whoops, yeah, okay, here. And let's call it X, okay? Now, uh, for the torus selected, add modifier in here and select array. Disable relative offset because you want to control it with the empty. Uh, relative offset is, well, like a pattern, okay? You can't do much, just constant. Okay, so we don't need that. Let's go with count 10. 10 um, rings. And press object offset. Okay? You select this. And you type in uh, the object that will, um, you know, move the new rings. And it's called X. Okay? Remember the empty? That's why I said X. You can't just say empty. It's too much. Okay? So let's try and see if I did this right. Move the empty and of course I did everything right okay so again if I may if you want to see arrays just press delete okay so that's for someone who knows how to spell arrays okay so that's about it let's do art with it okay increase the count to um, uh, I might say 80 but then again why would I Hell, let's go with 40. Okay, let's see how this this works. Whoa, lots of rings. In Stargate, I think there are only five rings, okay? So let's smooth this out. Okay, I'm gonna do minor adjustments so that it looks nice. Rings. I pressed Alt plus S, okay? Alt S. That's for shrink and fatten. It's very, very nice when you know how to use it. Okay, so let's move the empty. You know, you can do whatever you want. You know those spring toys you keep in the hand and just do like yo-yos? Yeah, might be one, I don't know. And uh, let the magic begin. Press R twice, okay? That's for uh, trackball. And move your mouse. Okay, so how can't you love this, hmm? It's like... Uh, hell, I'm not good at poetry, so... It's like, you know, spring, okay? A spring. Do whatever the hell you want. I'm gonna increase the, um, the count. As I said, 80. Well, it handles it pretty good, okay? So you have your own um, pipe thingy. Think, yeah, think. Let's do minor adjustments again. Like this, okay? So you have your own Archimedes thing, I think, yeah. You can uh, do mirrors on this, okay? Render from the top, like this. And well, see what you get. Weird, yeah, I know. Because there's no light. Emit and see blue ish. Well, it's cyan ish. Ok, 
Okay, no shadows. Okay. It looks good. It looks nice. No oversampling, no nothing. Okay, and when you're done with your toy... Okay, let's find the empty. Uh, when you're done with it and did everything you could, you press, you know, you, you select this thing, the final result, go to editing again, okay, and press apply. This is like subsurf, you can't do modifications afterwards, okay? So apply, and it created the mesh. You can now delete good old body X, X, ah, cool, yeah. And go into edit mode, you see it's a full mesh, kind of thick one, yeah. What the hell is a vertigo, by the way? Never mind that, okay? So you have your array, and for this array I'm gonna press delete, okay? Delete, um, close, you know, whatever you want, okay? Ciao, and let's watch the sunset. Okay, that's it, goodbye.